festivity and puja days are always something special during the special days we will be making a special sweets at our home so in that list i'm going to show you one of the typical south indian recipe which is a sweet pongal <laughs> Passionate kitchen cooking with Chef Afiz. Today we're going to see how to make a sweet pungal. Let's get started and check out the recipe. Have one cup of raw rice, half cup of moong dal, and 50 grams of raisins, and two cups of jaggery, and five parts of cardamom, 50 grams of cashew nuts, and 100 ml of ghee. Take a pan and add two tablespoons of ghee, and roast the moong dal. to get the nice flavor and aroma from the moong dal the moong dal should not be too roasted the color should not be changed just slightly roast it for about to 2 minutes without turning the color once the moong dal is been roasted keep it aside now have a cooker add the washed raw rice in it then i'm going to add the slightly fried moong dal into it followed by i'm going to add 4 cups of water the same measurement cup which we used to take rice so i'm going to add 4 cups of water mix it together i'm going to put it in a whisel i'm allowing 4 to 5 whistles allow dal and the rice to mash together inside the cooker parallelly i'm taking another whisel that i'm using 2 cups of jaggery i'm adding 1 cup of water i'm going to make a jaggery syrup the jaggery consistency should be in coating consistency of the spoon let the jaggery gets cooked about 8 to 10 minutes you're going to nice and thick jaggery syrup which is ready after four whistles just open the cooker and see the dal and the rice both together looks so mushy This is the this is the right consistency. If you feel it's not cooked, just use your wooden spoon or any spatula. Just mash it up. Now I'm gonna strain this jaggery syrup on this mash mixture. Ensure the jaggery always the jaggery always contain any kind of dust particles. So ensure always strain and use the syrup. mix the jaggery syrup along with the rice mixture mix it together without any lumps now add the fresh powdered cardamom parts inside the mixture and to produce a good aroma to a sweet pongal let's cook it for next 10 minutes let the pongal and the sugar i mean the jaggery syrup cook together nicely After 10 minutes of time just keep it aside Now it's in finishing process have a ghee in a pan and roast the cashew nuts and the raisins together to a golden brown color and add it in the pongal to get the extra flavor and the taste This ghee gives a nice aroma and the nice flavor to an any kind of sweets to an Indian sweet specially. The color and the consistency of the pongal is looking so rich and looking so yummy. Now you're going to serve this pongal in a room temperature. <laughs>
if you like the video give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed our channel yet kindly subscribe and click bell icon and press all button for all upcoming videos stay tuned for more interesting recipes cheers